M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's view our FTA on our mobile phone or tablet. Download the app called Terminal. I'll just back out here. And this is what the app looks like, Serial USB Terminal. Just put that into the App Store, but I'll, I'll, I'll um, put it in the link anyway. You get this window, window when you're open. Then on your ATS25, which will need Wi-Fi, but first of all, just turn on the Serial port. So go to next until you see the word setup press setup like so you see this window here and then keep going next quite far down now you do need a decode version or the decode hardware inside your ATS 25 eventually you'll get to keep going We are getting there. Next one, I think. De there is a decode data and center COM port. Okay, and the COM port is, as you know, just a USB C on the back. Then go one more and then set up your Wi Fi. So you go one to the right. Let's go back one. I'll show you that again, shall I? Let's go back one. Yeah, it looks like. Not going to let me until we do this. So select your Wi Fi, put in your password, and then click set. Okay. Exit. And if I go back one now, oh, I see I've got to press previous. So there's your decode you turn on, then you go next. Tap the big three lines there. Let it search. <clears throat> Connect your Wi-Fi. When you tap it, if it hasn't got the password, it will prompt you. Let's try this one here. And it looks like I've got all the passwords in, but if you haven't, it will prompt you. Anyway, we're using Galaxy and we're gonna go set. Then exit, so the, the Wi-Fi will come to life. Then tune to 7074 for 40 meters. So you tune to an FT8 frequency. Then go, go back one, mode, we've got Wi-Fi, did you see that? Digi, FT8. Once you've got to FT8, let's zoom back. Remember, there's a cable USB-C to USB-C to the phone. You can get yourself an OTG adapter. It's basically USB-C to C, or if you've got an older phone, it'll be micro USB. Wi-Fi is on, then you just got to wait for it to start to populate. Now on the actual phone app, here, if you're connected, you need to set board rate 115200. So tap the three lines, go to settings, and just make sure that says 115200. Okay, then go back, tap it again, then go to USB device. And when you're connected, this will show up. And this is this device, the ATS25, telling us that it's connected and it's using CH340. So we can tap that. Okay. And then, well, it's already started populating. If you have to, you just press the little play here, but it's already started populating. So we wait a couple of minutes while that populates. And that's it. You should be able to set yourself up with your, com with your, information coming out from your COM port into the phone. Now I've tried to do it on a PC uh, with putty. I know it can be done, but I couldn't get it working. I also tried to connect it to a program called WSJTX, but that didn't work. But if there is a way, and if someone knows of a way, tell me. But eventually that would all populate up and it gives you more information on a bigger screen. If you've got a tablet, you're gonna get you know easier viewing on your information. And you can see you've got Frequency, signal report, 0.3 seconds, 1250 hertz, CQ, and a call sign as well, and location. So I, I think it's really cool, and it's just another thing we can do with our ATS25. Unfortunately, this I thought this one would have Bluetooth, but apparently it needs a LNA and a HIZ, whatever that is. So that's more to learn, always learning new things. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, and it's all coming through on uh, there and we could just quickly just for fun 
We could change bands. So we go exit, band, 20 meters does come quite good for me on FT8. So we go to hand bands actually. Let's go, we don't want all these bands. Where's the hand bands gone? We tap the screen. Ham, 20. There they are, and then, is it 40? I don't know, I'm not sure the frequency. Is it 14074 as well? Probably is. I'll just show you though how it's quite busy. If you push it, it's all the volume. As we search down. It just works really well. So let's keep going to FT8. We type this frequency in, isn't it? Is it 14? Is it 074? I'm sure it is. Add some noughts. Use my little stylus. Let's click OK. There you are. Mode, digital, FT8. And you can see straight away, look. It's all coming through. It was saying 14 before, wasn't it? Oh well, you get the idea. There's your little Wi-Fi. Remember, no Wi-Fi, no FT8 decode. Nice waterfall as well. Bye for now, 7-3.